Hello from Nano Clutch. Today we're going to make homemade ricotta cheese. Yep, sounds hard, but it's going to be really easy. Uh, a, a while ago I found this recipe in Bon Appetit magazine for making homemade ricotta cheese and then turning it into some ricotta nudi, which is sort of like a gnocchi dumpling um, that you can serve as a side dish. And we've got friends coming over uh, in a couple of days, and so I'm going to put this together from making the cheese to making the nudi. Let's try it. The recipe itself is fairly simple. It's a gallon of milk, whole milk, a quart of buttermilk, and just a little bit of salt. We're going to bring all that up to a nice warm temperature of 180 degrees, and then we're going to turn it off and we're going to let it and sit there until the curds separate from the whey, and then we'll strain it all out and we'll have a beautiful ricotta cheese. This recipe is not hard. It just takes a little bit of time. It's going to take two to three hours for those curds to come together in the pan enough so that we can gather them into some cheesecloth and strain it. So it just takes a little patience, but there's nothing you have to do in between. Okay, we've stirred it. You can start to see some of the whey and the curds separating already. And I think we're really close to 180 degrees. So let's check it. Yep, there we go, 180 degrees, 181. So I've turned the heat off. We're gonna remove the pot from this heat, slide it over to the other side of the stove, and now just let it sit there for a couple hours until we get a really nice, good, thick layer of curds and the whey is separated completely. All right, you can see how we formed curds and our whey is separated. And this is sort of a big curd pile. We're gonna slide this off to the side. I have a bowl lined with cheesecloth and we're gonna gently pull all these curds into the cheesecloth. There we go. We have ricotta cheese. We're really gonna let that drain for a while. The cheese has been draining here for about 45 minutes. You could let it drain for a little bit longer if you want. It just is gonna create a more dry ricotta cheese. And I don't want one that's super dry. So I'm gonna take all of the corners of the cheesecloth, like this, grab them all together, and then I'm just gonna gently squeeze a little bit more out of the way out of there. Twist that dough ball a little bit, dough ball. It's not a dough ball. I work with dough balls all the time, but this is a cheese ball. Homemade ricotta cheese. We'll chill it, and then I'm going to make some nudie with it. Looks pretty good, huh? Awesome. This whey that is in here and the other stuff that was in the pan, don't throw it away. It's great to cook with, or if you're gonna make bread, use this instead of water. There's a lot of protein in here. A lot of uh, folks like to, you can buy dried whey powder for um, protein drinks and shakes and stuff like that. Really hard to dry this out, but that's what this is when it's dried. So save this, cook with it. You can cook uh, beans or lentils in it if you're gonna um, make a pot of soup or something like that. Um, so this is really great to have. Don't just throw it down the drain. So we've got this wonderful ricotta cheese that we made from scratch. I put it in the fridge yesterday when we were finished, and today we're going to turn it into something called nudi. Nudi is an Italian word for naked dumpling. It's sort of like taking the filling from a cheese ravioli and making that your dumpling that we're going to eat. Oftentimes gnocchi are made from potatoes or flour, um, and this has very little starch in it. It's going to be mostly cheese and herbs, and that, uh, a little bit of starch to hold it together with the flour. This recipe out of Bon Appetit that inspired me is actually gonna have us take the nudie and pipe it into strips and then put it into some semolina flour. And that will let it dry it out and help form a skin on it overnight. So we're gonna make these, put them back in the fridge overnight, and then we'll be able to cook them and make a wonderful dish just with some butter and fresh herbs. It'll be delicious. We've got all the ingredients here for the gnocchi. Just simple, humble ingredients. We've got, of course, our fresh ricotta cheese. We've got a little bit of flour, some salt, some fresh herbs from the garden, basil, tarragon, chives, and parsley. 
And my friend Laura has chickens and she gave me some eggs yesterday. So we're lucky enough to have farm raised eggs just from down the road, which is awesome. And then we're gonna use a semolina flour on a tray to help dry these out and create that skin that will help hold them all together in the water. So let's put it all together. Everything's prepped, ready to go. I chopped my herbs nice and fine, uh, not big pieces, but nice and fine. I've also cracked the eggs, saved one of the egg yolks and two eggs, and I lightly beat them together. The salt is measured, I've got the Parmesan cheese measured, and I grated this nice and fine. You can see how just soft and pillowy it is. Uh, I did that on my food processor because I've got a grater attachment to it. If you don't have that, use the grater side of your box grater and just grate away. You'll develop some great arm muscles. And then I've got my sheet tray prepped with the semolina flour so that we can uh, put the gnocchi in there, pipe it, and then cover it with more semolina and we'll let it dry in the fridge overnight. This gallon size zippy is going to be in my pastry bag to pipe these out into nice even logs. So I want to pipe this out into just long logs. Wonderful looking nudie are ready for the second coat of the semolina and then in the fridge they go. There, that semolina will help it dry out and they'll be perfectly ready to cook tomorrow night. All right, time to cook the nudie. The water is boiling, I've salted it already, and we're gently going to drop the nudie into the water and let them cook for about three to four minutes until they float. The nudie are floating now, it's time to take them out so we can saute them. Here we have it, our three days of work. It seems like a lot, you just have to plan ahead. The first day we made the cheese and that was just basically just letting it sit on the stove and straining it. The second day we made the nudie and buried them in the semolina so that they could dry out in the fridge. And finally today, all we did was boil them and saute them in some butter and then some fresh herbs. Wow, seems like a lot of work, but it was not. And it's so worth it. These are so heavenly, they smell so good. They're a perfect side dish to whatever you want to accompany them or you could just eat them on your own as a meal. Thanks to the inspiration from Bon Appetit Magazine for this, I'm gonna make this again and again. This is so yummy. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nano Collage. We'll see you next time.